welcome to episode 12 of Stitch and Stash. We're a Northern BC podcast coming to you from Prince George, British Columbia, Canada, and the unceded te ancestral territory of the Clay Lake Tene, where we live, work, and play, and knit upon. I'm Sarah. And I'm Lisa. And it's a wonderfully hot day today. This is the height of summertime in the city. Kids playing on a trampoline. Yeah, birds chirping. Yeah. Any moment now, a bee will attack the camera. <laughs> we're very fair skinned and we're sitting in the shade trying to yesterday I had three events that I was at for the photo booth and all of them were outside oh. and I did not bring sunscreen can't even tell I know I did I did seek shade I did think my neck was a little bit burnt at one point no oh, it looks good but um but I managed to evade it so <laughs> I was more worried about my face because I started that new retinal cream Oh, sometimes. And they're like, make sure you wear sunscreen. And then I was out without even a moisturizer, let alone a sunscreen. So, High risk. I know. I Living thought, on the edge. It's about as risk takey as I get. <laughs> mm -hmm. I knit and I gabble with sunscreen. It's like, whatever. It's okay. So, what have you been up to? I have not been knitting as much as I'd like. I've, I don't know if it's because it's hot or just because I've got other things I do or headaches pollen cottonwood i don't like to smoke knit. smoke when, when we i can't see it yeah. hurts the forest fires in the area were really bad a while a couple weeks ago too i don't remember it feels like and whenever we say it, it the next day it's smoky so yeah well tumbler ridge which is um sort of around prince george in the northern health region um was evacuated from there when recently about two weeks ago oh they all had to leave and well it's only two ways in there though right so they all left tumblr and were in various communities and um yeah so that smoke really hung around the bowl for a bit mm -hmm. i think it was like went over into alberta and stuff my sister said too so mm -hmm. you know it's the time of year it is we're just lucky that we're not being evacuated and our communities aren't at risk at this point at this knock on wood. i know i came home that day and because i said oh tumba ridge has is, is been evacuated and my husband started to tell me about how we needed a a kit and i needed to make sure i had water and fuel in my car and it's all very sound advice but it all sounds like a lot of work for me it does and you know what if it's on this side of the mountain it would be better well i think that there's value in that like i i did take and get a special folder and in that folder is like our passports and some information like stuff that I wouldn't want to like if I had to leave in a hurry I'm like what would I take yeah. and yeah. so I think like I would grab that yeah insurance information is important you know that that kind of thing so mm -hmm. that's just in a folder that um I saw on the minimal mom where she had done that right so that she had knew where all her stuff was and so I did that but I did not create a tote of yeah, I don't know. It sounds like a lot of work. It's probably a good idea. Oh, yeah. Just given everything. And as I'm currently driving around in my car and I have 10 kilometers so empty, Maybe I'm like, I should idea. probably not let my car get. No. You know what, though? I, I refuse to pay regular price for fuel. So I want to go to Costco. But when do I get to get to Costco? When everyone else does. Yeah, or I don't think about it until it's closed. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm so and then I am not in that neighborhood, so probably just have to bite the bullet now and pay an exorbitant amount of fuel. Almost two dollars a liter. Mm -hmm. So when I see movies, do you watch movies? And there's it's in the states, and you can see the gas signs, mm -hmm. and then it says like it's like two thirty five a gallon. Do you do the math? You're like no. Geez, that's sixty cents a liter. Lisa, you lost me. At, do you do the math? <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Well, and I think I remember the day. Mm -hmm. 50 cents a liter. Yes. Pull in in my old car, fill her up. You could go Hand over a $20 bill. Oh. Now it's like, here's my firstborn, a kidney, and uh, my paycheck. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah. anyway, there's still money for yarn. Always money. We could walk to the yarn store. We don't need yeah. to spend money on gas. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they deliver. If you like got that one of those delivery services and you phoned your order and said go pick that up. Can you fit in between the takeout restaurant and the liquor store? Can you Yeah. Yeah. 
And actually, why are you at the liquor store? Pick me up. <laughs> Is I could a, use that too. Is there a discount because you're already going? Yeah, like just do a trip and then come back to my house. That's a very good idea, actually. We'll be on the patio. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just leave it on the doorstep. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, this is a pretty nice setup. I, I like it. It's shady and it's gardeny. Look, there's flowers. It's lovely. And the half did tree. My you know beautiful what? tree is half dead. It's only dead on the top half and we can't see it on here. Well, I think this winter, have you noticed lots of trees didn't really survive? Yeah. I think that that minus 40 just didn't about just, perfect timing. Yeah, just killed. Willows grow everywhere. They grow where, the, where they're not supposed to and I've got some on the edge of my driveway and they're all like leaning over like this. And hmm. they're willows. I thought they were supposed to survive everything. I don't know, this winter was, it was good, and then there was that snap right mm -hmm. near the spring, wasn't it? I don't even Didn't remember. Didn't it thaw and then freeze again, so yeah, maybe the, everything got a little confused? Do you notice, though, with the confusion, because there's been frost intermittently between, like, since the uh, spring, mm -hmm. since I planted my garden, there's been frost every few times. The mosquitoes, you don't have them here, but at home, we don't have to race the mosquitoes in the house. Mm. It's good. Yeah. No, and I haven't had any frost in town. That's nice. Like, it's just out by the airport there. So, sorry, you'll have to keep it. It's okay. I'll wait my turn till the fall. All you have to say is frost to the beans and the uh, fuchsias and the lavender. And then they all just shrivel And they up. just die. Yeah. They just go, <laughs> like Forget one of those it. sleeping goats. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> <laughs> Except they don't get back up. No, oh, man. It's okay. Oh well. It's okay. So my neighbor has a similar setup, but she's got misters. We had misters. I don't like being sprayed, spritzed upon. Maybe if it was by a person feeding me grapes and fanning me with a, <laughs> but we did have a setup like that and I just didn't like this oh. constant. I felt like a vegetable at the grocery store. The ones where you, like you race and you're like, I want that package of radishes. Am I going to get sprayed if I reach in? You just, yeah. you'd, you'd, you'd race it. And then it's like all soggy. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't my jam. Okay. We it's tried perfect. and we do, like you can see, you've got, we've got the watering system. Oh yeah. So everything was set up on a watering system. Yeah. And then it's like, I don't really love that. Oh. You, you, you could pre, you could block as you knit. Yeah. Not my thing. <laughs> Not my thing. Anyway, so I had a finished object. Sure you did. I did, and I even blocked them. And I, was, my goal was, I was, you know, that beautiful planter outside of begonias and yes, vine. Yes. I'm like, I should take these socks and put them on the blockers and hang them up there and take a nice picture. But I blocked them and I put them downstairs and promptly forgot about them. Mm -hmm. And then the recipient of the socks came over and saw them and said how much they liked them. And I just said, oh, yeah, well, they're yours, so, you know, feel free. And then I thought, I never even took a picture. Do they watch? Uh, no. Oh. No. Because that would be awfully convenient mm -hmm. if they could take a picture. And... Well, I could ask, but it's okay. It's okay. I know I did them. Right. What I did even you... kitchener the toe. Well, what Toes did you on them? That's good. I made them out of the regia. Oh, yeah. Sock yarn. Um, I showed them on the last podcast. Oh, okay, those ones. Okay. Yeah, and by the K, the Crazy Sock Lady. Mm -hmm. I really like that pattern. The only thing I don't like about doing them with the... Magic loop? Yeah. Is so many times when I'm knitting, I sometimes get my hands stuck in one of these <laughs> loops and then pull. Oh. And then all oh, my beautiful time stitches oh. are loose so it's just it's a, it's a me thing mm -hmm. that I probably need to work on but it's okay I don't know. it's come so that I did do that but that was about the only thing that I finished oh okay well I don't feel so bad about not knitting much no look I'm wearing my sumiko remember I was like down in the lace I was just like right here last yeah. time beautiful um it's a little bit um big in the um arms mm -hmm. and it's a little lower cut than i would like without having a something on underneath 
Yeah, maybe like 15 years ago. We'd get more viewers if you took that off. But then there, it were at 10 minutes and 10 seconds. <laughs> then the viewership would stop at 10 minutes and 12 seconds. And a warning would be on. <laughs> Why don't we get off YouTube? <laughs> uh, uh, but I tried to quick do a little steam block with the iron on because... Jaylene yeah. from uh, the Cup Inc. Girls. Girls. Um, said well why don't you wear it backwards and this could be a v-neck at the back or v at the back yeah. and then just a regular top but it's a little bit too high so if i were to do that i might d just make the front straps longer and join them farther back so it Is would it be a, more like this and it's joined there yeah it's a, a three needle cast off three is that right three needle bind off bind off yeah and then you picked this up after? No, because I did the back first, and I did one front, and then the other front, and then... Oh, so you you do this. This is not picked up around the arms after? No, that's knit as we go. Oh. Yeah. Well, what if you just pulled the pulled this back a mm -mm. bit? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No? Well, I, okay, I could, but it's still it's still baggy a little bit in here. But that's... You know what? Okay, My advice is just eat a little bit more. Bulk up a little bit. I don't have... Fine. I already have all of the bulk that I want <laughs> and extra. And I wouldn't ever undo anything and try to pick up stitches. Yeah. But because I didn't realize what kind of a pain that is. I might not fix my Primavera top anymore after mm. doing... I should just say it. What happened? So I made Joe's Perfect Slipper Socks. Yeah. And I read the instructions for the for the bind off on the second one only. And it says loosely bind off using mm. this method. And I read for the first one loosely bind off. And on the second one I read the instructions, they're not the same. Mm. So I had to undo the second one and then do it the same because one was loose and one was tight. Oh. Um. I don't recommend it. What happened? It just was difficult. I, I tied it all my ends. And I had to untie all my ends and it wasn't great. And this is only uh, uh, that many stitches. Mm. So, um... I'm gonna well, and you have to be careful too when you start to undo things and start to do surgery. Because, like, Tracy from the Grocery Girls, when she did that on her one top and then she got into the short rows... And then it changes because oh. your short rows have like those loops yeah. and and then you've got weird things. You, you have to go down below to where it's straight or something. But when you're knitting top down, oh yeah, no. you'd have to you'd have, almost have to like pick up the row, take that off, and then have, treat it like provisional and then go all the way back up, right? That sounds like a lot of work. I'd almost just re knit the whole thing myself. Thinking about that, yeah. Right then. Yeah and try to reverse engineer something, but... Um, maybe this is just a vest. Maybe I wear a shirt shirt under it. Maybe then it'll be all year long. Maybe. But this yarn, did I, I think I bought three. I think so. Ricky, I bought three, right? These, this is Stars for Hope, the yarn. And this is how much I have left. I think it's 74 yards or something. And it's DK weight? Yeah, it is. So I have enough for some something decent. I love it. Nice. Yeah. And what's uh what's it made out of? Uh it's oh hundred percent superwash. Oh, mm -hmm, Nice. Nice, nice. It is and it feels good. Even you know it's twenty six <clears throat> degrees. Mm -hmm. I decided to wear wool. Right? But it's okay because wool's magic. Can be. It can wick, it can shrink, it can felt, <laughs> it can be all kinds of things, right? It can well, change quickly. It could. I, you know, weather like this, I wouldn't want to wear mohair. Oh, no. Because I just picture all the little the mm. little hairs sticking to my... It's sweaty. Mm. It's not, yeah. No. I don't know. I even saw like a pretty tank toppy kind of thing with mohair. I thought, mm. yeah, But when would you wear that? When you're, I probably would, but not now. When you're 16 years old and you wear a tank top, 
12 seasons a year. Yeah, but I'm also menopause and I wear a tank top like all the time now. I'm like, hi, I came to work dressed in clothes and now I need to strip down to this <laughs> tank top so I don't actually spontaneously combust. And you're probably not allowed to say, don't talk to me now. I'm like, well, sometimes I'm like, I need a minute. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm so hot. But when they come near your desk and they can feel the, the heat, they yeah. probably know. Well, and I never know if it's just me or if it's oh. like that the heat's on in the building. No, it's probably just or, you. No, sometimes it's, well, and then the air conditioning's been on, like, 24-7 at work, too. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm like, I feel like I work in a freezer. Mm -hmm. So. It is just, dry. Yeah. That's oh. the dogs. Oh, good. It's the dogs. They hear us. So, what are you working on? Do you have more finished objects? No, I only have these two finished objects. I have two finished objects. That's right. Yeah. It was almost 1.5. Well, I, I, considered, I considered not changing it, <laughs> but then I'd have to wear them, and then it would just make me angry. But this way I can gift them. And what yarn is this? This is Opal, um, X, XL Opal. Um, it's all in German, or something. It's called Wilder Winter. It's worsted. It's fun, and it's fast, and it makes me feel like primary school. Because mm -hmm. it's got the colors that are like melted crayons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and the, the pattern is awesome. It's fun. Oh, yeah. Joe's perfect. So her socks are always... I think I'd like it more if it, like, patterned. Like if there was pooling? I don't know. Like, I do like it. I like this yarn and it feels really squishy. Yeah, it's... And maybe it's just because I'm used to like this this kind of stuff right now. Well, the striping. Yeah, like maybe I'm just used to seeing that. I like it. It's like confetti cake. It is. So I like it. So, it's really cool. Where'd you get the yarn? Top drawer. Top drawer. Nice. And then I watched Cozy Up, and Jamie was making, a, but a full pair of socks, and it, this is a big. This is 150 grams, so you could make big socks. And they're worsted, so they're fast. And maybe, yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. Fun hmm. colors. Anyways. Yeah, I'll have to go down and check it out. And it's, for, you know, considering it's yeah. it's 150, and it's wool and nylon, it's, it's good. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Like it a lot? Yeah. I might have to go to the yarn shop on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Wednesday. I need to go me. too. Maybe we should coordinate. Maybe. Although I'm never, I have like a fart in a skillet these days. I'm all over the map. I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere. It's like a quick jaunt in and out. I don't know. It's okay, I'll go my own. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, I don't know. I just can't commit. I have commitment issues. Mm -hmm. As you could tell by today when it's like, what time do you want to meet? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't want to yeah. get dressed. Either. Anytime. Um, I'm working on another pair of the Crazy Sock Lady Socks with the Regia. I think I got a couple of the Arnie and Carlos colorways. They, really? Mm-hmm. That's fun. I'm just going to move this down so I can see. Daydream. So Daydreaming Color. This is not one of their colorways. It says Arnie and Carlos on it. So those ones are downstairs still. Mm -hmm. And the top drawer had them as well. So yeah. So I just... I think I'm supposed to count rounds because she just says like this many rounds to your, but I kind of just go by the coloring, you know what I mean? When I uh -huh. get to the next line or whatever and how long I want it to be. So if I normally do like three inches here or two inches and then, right. and then six inches. And Look how perfect the orange stripes have lined up. Like that's, that's pretty perfect. Right? And is this just a regular? Yeah. Rip? Twenty yeah. one? Yeah. Hmm. I do like the magic loop. I didn't think I would and I but I, I do like it. The only thing I find is that these they're tiny stitches. And on this carbon, mm -hmm. I do need to wear my glasses and have good light. Otherwise disaster. And that's because of the needles, not the yarn? It's be, it's just a combination of the things. Like it's hard mm -hmm. to see the stitches on there in the dark when you're in certain colors. 
Plus there's this like a little ridge. Mm. But I only feel like you can feel it on this one. Yeah, that, oh. I don't know if that's right. That might not be how it's supposed to be. No? No. These aren't the needles. Oh, maybe I'll bring it into the yarn shop and ask them. Let's see. It's it's like, it's not too bad. It's just in the dark with a darker color and a darker needle. Yes. It's, um, I've dropped stitches, oh, which sure. I normally don't do. So it has come to light that I do indeed need to wear my glasses for some things and that I do need to have a light on and I can't just go by feel all the time. It's, I won't make fun of you at all because I'm getting to be that age too mm -hmm. but if you get a magnifying glass with a light yeah. I hope you're cross stitching I'm not doing that ever okay I draw the line right there I just will knit with bigger yarn and bigger needles at that point that would be handy to restaurant though what a magnifying glass so you can just see everything yeah that's weird I try so hard not to be weird. She just orders things that aren't on the menu. Right? I'm just kidding. My last set of needles that I was knitting with, I think it was with the slipper socks. There was a ridge where the, at, at the- Join? Non-business end of the needle. Yeah. Hmm. It was difficult because I thought my um, interchangeable was coming unscrewed. I've actually had the cable break on me. Have you had that? No. <laughs> right at the join. So I don't know if I do something funky sometimes with the, um, the way I hold the needle, but mm. it broke off right there and it was a little bit disastrous. I did manage to save all my stuff. It wasn't on a yarn over row, but mm. it was, um, yeah, it wasn't ideal for no. sure. Oh, <clears throat> I'll talk about that after. What else are you doing? Why? You already have it. Okay, fine. I'm determined I'm going to have an oculus that I like. Yeah? So I've made one and it was way too big. It was with um, holding Remix Light double. Mm -hmm. And I like the fabric, but it's really warm. It's really thick. It just is, and I didn't do sleeves. So it just kind of has a yoke that ends and it feels unfinished. Mm -hmm. And then I made one that turned out to be tiny and it fits Macy very cutely. I will put oh. a picture of her here if I'm allowed to. I'll ask first. We can put a big smiley face over her face. Okay. Maybe. It, it's an undisclosed child. It is not Macy. There you go. So I'm using Farmer by Gathering Yarns. Right? Farm The Farmer by Gathering Yarns. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 60 fine highland wool and 20% alpaca, easy wash, and 20% nylon. What's easy wash? What does easy wash? Well, it says 60% fine, and, yeah, easy wash easy is a wash. Magic, so it must be like a super wash kind of treatment on it. Because it oh. says easy wash, no resins, no acids used eco-friendly machine washable. So it's not necessarily easy for me to wash it. They just washed it friendly like. What says here machine washable? Oh. How much easier do you want it? Holy you want it to like crop. walk down to the machine, throw itself in? It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I do. <laughs> if you can figure that out. <coughs> I'm like, <laughs> we can market that. Well, we could. We, we Legs for your knitwear. <laughs> <laughs> and you, anyways. <laughs> Oh, Lordy. So this is, look, it's going to fit me. It's doing well. It is a little bit because this is the first size and it's supposed to be super oversized. So I adjusted my sizing and my counts for how many stitches I wanted. I'm going to, I'm increasing the depth of the yoke before I split for sleeves. Yeah. By about an inch so that it's not so tight around my yeah my arms it's nice it's going it, it kind of has a little red bits yeah. in it it's got a bunch of different colors in there hey and when i wear it i don't want anybody pointing out how i screwed up on the little lacy bits 
at what all. Mean? It's a four stitch repeat. So it's supposed to have like one, two, and then one. Yeah. For the. And, and, and some of them are three. Well, there's four. One, two, three, four. They're just not in the pattern that they're supposed to be. Like this one. And it's right here. It's not over my shoulder. It's not on my back. It's right here that it's screwed up. Hmm. So I'm going to deny that it's there. If anyone asks me what is, I know. So what pattern is Don't bug me. Right? Yeah. I feel like if anyone's staring at your chest that long, then we're going to have a different situation. Yeah, counting your eyes. I'm sorry, I'm just counting your eyelids. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to get the same response uh, as if you were doing something else. Right? <laughs> So I'm excited. It's going to it's going to be um, done perfectly and perfect. And this was two evenings. Hmm. So I'm just about ready. I have another half inch to go, and then I'm splitting for sleeves. This is that cast on thing she does, right? That you do the provisional. Yeah. And then you do the stitches, like she says. And then is it tubular? Just, is that the right word? I think so. And then you pull out the provisional. Yeah. And there's no live stitches. I started a ranunculus and then I didn't like the the fabric I was like the fabric I was making, so I took took it yeah. out. It's a little lacy. It, what weight is that? DK. Yeah. Is it? I don't know. So I asked you. <laughs> it is. I uh, see. I'm so bad at this. It's 265 meters for 100. Does pounds. it tell you on the front? No. It probably does, and I just didn't read it. Darlene. Six ply sock yarn. So it's sock. So it's yeah. halfway in between, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a plumper. Yeah. Same fingering. So yeah. Well, more like a DK. Yeah. Or like a sport. Right. Anyways, I'm happy about that. So good. How about you? Um my so I was doing another the crazy sock lady pattern sock and then I was again trying to knit up some of my stash downstairs. So I have a bunch of acrylic that I'm almost through. I just have a few more colors left. So I found this Knit Picks Chevron Cherub Wrap. It's a free pattern on the Knit Picks site, I believe. And it's just like a little chevron y, a few lace overs. Every knit row does the same thing over and over again. Mm -hmm. And so. They're all cute. It's got a little ribbing at the edge. Yeah, and I mean, I do have a plethora of ends that I need to do something with. But in the meantime, I like your colors. I'm running out of white and this variegated, so I might just go up to Michael's and see. I have enough of all the others. See if I can just pick up another ball of something. What is it? What kind of yarn? This is mostly Astra, Peyton's Astra. Oh, so it just it does look good on there. I just grabbed some rando colors and you're good at rando. Went to town, so I know another girl at work is pregnant, so or thereabouts. So lovely. You need to have some gifts in your back pocket. Mm -hmm. And it is only six months to Christmas. One, well, it's the same. Like it's an easy knit. So you know your knit rows. You're doing the the fancy work, right? Like your yarn overs and your slip stitches and back overs and all that kind of stuff yeah and then when you're then it's just a pearl row so does it is it three together kind of to, to do the the decrease it's a double decrease so you slip, you slip two. two and mm -hmm. then go back over yeah yeah and then your yarn overs in the middle mm -hmm. so it's like 13 it's always 13 stitches and then something you have to do so you have to go get more yarn before you can finish? I think so. But you know what? I'm not too worried about it. If not, I might just sub in something else. Car seat blanket. Yeah. Small. Well, no, like, it has to be still bigger than this. And my next color is white. Oh. So I can't just be like, and done. So I'm doing a chevron blanket too. Are you? Race you. Are you almost done? No. Mm. I'm about two thirds through my yarn. Mm-hmm. And I'm not getting more yarn. No? No. What are you knitting it Is that with? cotton? Is that, is it, it's not broke out. It's cotton. Did you bring Worsted. it? No, I didn't bring it. 
Because I haven't done anything with it since for a long time. Oh. I see. So, so do you have more whips? Do I have more? Nope. I think I only have what I'm going to start next. Nice. Yeah. So, what's next? Weird, right? I know. So I have, okay, at home I have the flax light. I haven't done that for a while. And I have the blanket. And I have one sock done. So I have three whips at home. So. Right? Red Rover. I love hearing kids sing. I know, but Red Rover's the game of my like nightmares as a child. Or you'd be like running and then suddenly you're clotheslined. Or you're you're trying so hard and then people leave fingernail tracks as you yeah. Can, yeah. It's like they don't play Red Rover anymore, do they? Well they were just singing Red Rover. That's not how we sing. I know. Hmm. Maybe they have a much kinder way of playing it than we did. That would be lovely. Right? Maybe we should go hop the fence and see if we can join in, Lisa. They might make us go on a trampoline. They might call the police. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. We're it's filming for our podcast. These ladies are climbing the fence with knitting needles and, and camera and a camera. <laughs> are you on the Ravelry page? No. Pardon me. You probably are. There's a free Ravelry patterns. Yeah. Page on Facebook. And every once in a while, there's coupons that come up and stuff. Mm -hmm. I like it because it shows me stuff that I wouldn't normally see. This one is called R Woodruff Field by Lana. Joyce? Is it Joyce or Joyce? Uh, yeah. Could be with I a, don't know. It's a J O I J O I S. Mm hmm And it's a shawl. I never make shawls. But it looks like Well you feathers. started one. What happened to your Hawaiian one? Oh it's still carnating. Co car crochet. And I yeah. worked on it two weeks ago. Did you? Mm-hmm. Oh. I might get it done by the time we go to Hawaii in 27 years. <laughs> Hawaii's still around. If it's still there, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to do this one. Yeah. And you yarn it? I do. I went and got yarn for it. Have you ever done anything with tensile? 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 No. This is line loops and threads. Capri tensile. Tensile. I hope you don't have expectations that I pronounce things right today. It's in it's teal, and it's it's oh yeah that's up pretty close. I think it's going to be lovely. I hope it drapes nicely. It's I thought it would be plastic too, but it's made out of eucalyptus. Oh, I've had something like this. It's going to be slippery. I had that bamboo. Right? Yeah, it's like true bamboo. boo. Yes, but this is silkier and less. I Sorry. cannot keep true boo on the needles. So I I am going to use either the graphite or wood and cross my fingers. Maybe a little glue on there. <laughs> well, and it, I'm a little afraid because it's cables for the first. It's cables and then it works into a, a lacier, almost feathery pattern. There's something going on there. It's a knot. Watch. Thank you. Yeah, so it's totally going to make it tighter if I pull it. <laughs> that not Next. cost you more. <laughs> so I'm a little afraid if it's going to be slippery that there's going to be a lot of that stuff falling off the needles. You know what? And if it's a, like, depending on how the, the stitch repeat goes too, like I love my my rings. Do you use your ring slots for your lace work? Rings? Yeah. What so are you talking about? You don't have like stitch, like stitch marker rings. Oh, like, like, like these. Well, these oh. are like sheep, but... Yeah, okay. Right? So when yeah. I, so on this, I tried to do that. So I'd be like 13 and then place a marker to know my yarn. Yeah, but this too. pattern changes each time. Yeah, it does. You so can't this do one you can't do that. But no. I love them on like certain shawls and yes. certain things as, as long as your counts aren't going to change. Right. And it looks by these charts like they're not going to change. But I like too that it's charted, but it's also written. Because awesome. I like the written better yeah. myself. Because mm -hmm. then I can memorize it. Right. I'm like knit two yarn over knit three. Just as I'm, I just repeat it. Good. And I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the yarn shop. This remember I said I wanted yeah. to go because um, I made one boy sweater for one baby. Yeah. And I have another baby coming. I don't. Somebody else does this month. 
and it's already most of the way through the month so i better hurry up at, but a love note in like this this big won't actually take that long and i'm going to do it in a cotton so it's not mean for the month mm -hmm. like um the lang lang, lang cotton from top drawer maybe or because you, well, mm. are you going to do the mohair or are you going to look for no, a double? No, just cotton. Just, I'm just going to do a plain Jane cotton. Yeah, so a DK weight. Do I have to do a DK even for a baby? Well, your gauge is built at a DK weight. But if I just... If I just make you it You got this for... gift as a, when you were born, but it will fit you in kindergarten. It's very hard to Lisa. Go, it would go opposite. I would, I would build it for, like, say... 18 month or two years in fingering and then it would be smaller so it fit when she's six months i don't think it would work like that you're gonna oh, have yes. a big you have no. thinner needle big yeah no. you have thinner yarn and a bigger needle no, you no, can no. have a bigger garment i would i would shrink the needle also it's gonna work stay tuned for the next episode of stitch and stash where we can see what lisa's accomplished with that or i'll knit two together knit two together Two strands, fingering. Yeah, yeah. Or a DK weight. Or a DQ. I want it to be soft and washable. Maybe I'll, I'll go see what I can find. Yeah. I'm gonna do a DK. Either way. <laughs> Either way. Can That's you good. smell that smell? Yes. It smells like shit. No. No, it does. You know what it is? <laughs> I'm pretty <laughs> I have sure no idea. that my um kids. We were told to pick up poop. Where'd they put it? Under the deck? Nope. In the poop bucket. But remember all that rain? Oh, it makes soup. I'm pretty sure nobody emptied it. <laughs> so every once in a while I catch this whiff and I'm like... It's poop soup. There's a smell that I'm going to have to go and investigate here shortly. So. <gasps> that would not be nice to clean out. Oh, I'll Just, go send Mike out. I'll be like, honey, I have a job for you. Where are you going to put it though? You're going to put it down the storm drain, storm sewer? Just yellow to the by the fence where the kids are playing. <laughs> <laughs> Just yell out to the neighbors. You're dumping it. Shitter's full. They were <laughs> stand on the street corner. Yeah. Ugh. Sorry for the language, everybody. Oh my god. Sorry, but every once in a while, I'm just like, what is that? I know it wasn't you. <laughs> right, <a> Ben. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm like, I hope she doesn't think it's me. So anyway. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna work on next. I really haven't thought that much through. I do have yarn for eleven or an Oculus, or or anything requiring that weight of yarn. Uh, it's that K Zip Knits yarn that we got at the Fiber Press. Mm. That nice pink. I need to find a mohair to go with it if I'm gonna do do a mohair mm -hmm. style one. Otherwise. I don't know. I thought about holding a natural mohair with it mm -hmm. and seeing what that was like. Do you have a natural already? No. Mm. But I did look at Tracy um, Frankie Gray. She sells the undyed natural. Jody or Tracy? Oh, Jody. I'm sorry. Um, so I did look at that. Might be nice. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Save it for when you're motivated. Yeah, I just kind of want to get through these few things. I'm not actually really liking having two things on the needles. I was just going to say, you have two things. May as well make it three. No. I have a hard enough time remembering where I am with things. Like this one, I've got the pattern all up here now. So it's just easy. Yeah. And this one, uh, the socks just go right around. But it's like dividing my time between the two. I'm more efficient just doing one. And then moving on. Yeah. So I, I do like though that if I hit a standstill with this, I do have something already that I can just bounce to. Mm -hmm. I have mixed emotions. I like having something I have to think about, like the top this much of a ranunculus, or else you end up with lace that looks like this yeah. instead of like this. And then um, maybe I should think harder when I'm doing it. Think and, harder. Yeah, so I don't end up with messed up lace pattern. Well, you know, it's live and learn. It's true. You um, could rip it back. No, not happening. And then um, I need a sock maybe that's easy yeah. or a shawl or, or something. 
Yeah, or a shawl that's hard. Have you... Okay, back to the free patterns on Facebook. Uh -huh. This was on there a while ago. I'm not gonna show it because I think it's not on sale anymore. Or it's not free anymore. It's okay. called the Sarah Vest by Claudia Q. I'm so happy she said Claudia Q on this cover page because that's not actually what her last name is. It's much longer and I spelled it out phonetically on my card. Quinten Quintanilla. Because huh. I spelled it phonetically. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't do it cropped because my body type doesn't say do that. But it's cute, right? Mm hmm. You just add some on. I'm just going to keep going, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is fancy schmancy. It's called Torrid. And it's a dicky. But it's also a little bit like a cowl. And she wears it under a coat. Get it. It's not more like a bandana. Well, a like little a bit. Bandana style. A little bit. But it's, it's kind of fancy. It almost looks like it's crocheted. Mm -hmm. But it's knit. Huh. What kind of yarn does it call for? I don't know. Fingering Sport. Or DK Worsted. Hey. Huh. And there's a few options. You can either do it frilly around the edges or not. It is like a bandana a little bit. But it says it's as if a dicky and, and a statement necklace had a whirlwind affair. Oh. So there you go. Yeah, it it looks fun. Hmm. That looks like a good time. I I went nuts and tested my printer. And it yeah. It it did it, it, it met well. the the parameters. It kept up. Well that's good. Okay, one more. I can't find raffia in town anywhere like actual like the old raffia you used to just grab off a no but not like a bale of it like a, you can get it and it's in a in a ball like that you knit with it so you can make a hat that sounds like your fingers are going to be in trouble yeah but that's when you have two projects one you can switch because that would be fun wouldn't it no sounds like my fingers would be tortured Raffia? Yeah, but maybe it's Isn't it like paper. More like hay? It's like paper, straw. I'm gonna a try palm it. fiber. Oh, it's maybe palm I'm fiber. thinking yeah. the wrong thing. And then you put a piece of wire around it, around the edge, and you can do kind of whatever you want with it for shaping. Huh. So I'm going to order some. Yeah. I think I'm thinking of the wrong thing. What's the kind? Maybe I'm thinking like twine. Oh yeah, no, it's not jute. Like where it's all. Yeah, I think that's. I pictured your fingers be like bleeding. No, but yeah, but imagine that around your forehead too. That's In like sweat. mohair gone wrong. <laughs> I mean, like, Lisa, your forehead's bleeding. <laughs> Why are you scratching <laughs> everywhere? Your forehead's bleeding and so are your fingers. What's happening? <laughs> I just knit my new hat. You like it? Oh my gosh. So, well, that's okay. Did you find a place to order the raffia from? Uh, there's a, a brand that they recommend, so I might do that. Which one is it? Universal. Universal Yarn Yashi. Huh. Mm -hmm. Three balls. So, 300, up, up to 300 yards. Huh. Yeah, I think it'd be fun. One distinctive marker. Mm-hmm. That's all right. And they just braid the strings. There's a string that goes around it for sizing. And it's braided. It's not even eye cord. You know, it would make that better, Lisa, if you got a chin strap. And then when you go to the lake, it won't blow off. A nice little piece of Velcro. Now you... <gasps> not Velcro. Sounds nice. Elastic. It would have to be elastic. Yeah, she said Velcro. I did say Velcro. <laughs> well, just put a piece of Velcro on your chin. <laughs> the elastic. My kids would have a um, hating. Snap. Your kids would be like, Mom, you're not coming to the lake with they us. They would never sit beside me. Do they now? Grudgingly. Right, mine too. I thought that I was going to be driving Spencer to his work. Mon every Saturday and Sunday, 8 till 4, he works. That was the plan. That is lousy for camping. 
that is lousy for sleeping in, it's it's not conducive to a happy life for mom, right? Mm -hmm. He turns 17, he gets his proper driver's license at the end of the summer. But this kid went and got a job working in camp. Is it, I think it's like a 13 hour drive from here. Hmm. So they're flying in. Having a little problem with it. Yeah? But it's going to be a great experience. It is, you know, other people going out there? Well, just the boss. Sarah's knitting. She's not just being oh. rude. See, she's knitting. Well, I just thought, you know what? I should probably put some mileage on the sock here. But that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Um, well, that's cool. He's is he gonna looking forward to it? ton of money. He, and he's going, I want a car. The last three years, four years, I've been saying, Spencer, you should save your money. You're going to want a car. We live rurally. There are no buses to ride your bike. Prince George is called a bowl because where the, the rivers join, it makes a bowl. Uh -huh. And if you want to leave town, you have a significant hill to climb out of. And he's only got his uh, muscle assist, not battery assist uh -huh. on his bike. So he's motivated. He's motivated. Well, that's good. I can't wait to hear how it goes. Me too. Is it going to be a long summer or a short summer? For him or for you? For me. It's going to be It's going to be fast for him. Yeah. He's going to work his butt off. Right? He, when you can do it, some things that you want to do and mm -hmm. focus on Elizabeth. And Absolutely. He's going to come back with better muscles than if he went to the gym. He's going to come back with a habit of sleeping because he will have worked so hard during the day that he will fall, be falling asleep. This is what you think. I am praying that this is what happens. And he will have worked his butt off so hard during the day that he's starving. So he's going to work really hard. He's going to eat really good food. He's going to sleep really well. And he's going to come home ready for grade 12. <sighs> Spencer is one year behind Sarah's youngest, who is one year behind Sarah's oldest. Yeah. She well, thinks she knows. I, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Spencer could be completely different. I mean, mm. and, you know, it depends on how many other people are out there. Yes, you might true. meet some friends and, you there's, know. There's not much in this place. No. But maybe fishing. Maybe. He's, he's looking forward to fishing. So does he, is he bringing a rod and stuff? Not this first time. The next time he will. How many times? Did they go out for so many days and then back? Well, they fly in. So they're wanting the, them to not be gone only for one week. And then fly home is too expensive. Mm -hmm. So he thinks that he's going to work really hard for 14 days straight. 10, 11, 14 days. Yeah. That's it. We'll see. And then come home? And then come home for however long. Usually it's like 14 and 1 or something like that, right? Like 14 yeah. and t 14 and 7, so yeah. like two weeks out, one week in. Or, yeah, or 11 and 3. But, you know, I, mean, I don't know. I Some of those great. flights in are like sketchy because you're in a tiny aircraft. And you're usually over mountains. So right now Spencer is an air cadet and his papa has his pilot's license. And Spencer goes out flying. And he, Spencer is capable of flying those little aircrafts. They're this big. Like the chairs. The plane is as wide as these chairs. He's used to it. He goes over the mountains. They do scary shit. Mm -hmm. But it's all training for emergencies. Well, I don't know. Mike worked in a camp for a while, and yeah, he's like, he had to beef up on the gravel before he went on one of those planes. Really? Well, because it's like the pockets and the... Turbulence? Yeah, it was in his jam. Well, but he wasn't used to it either, right? So... Yeah. Well, hopefully, yeah. hopefully that's good. There's no mountains between here and there, and so I'm hoping that the forest fires stay out of the way. Mm-hmm. Well... So that's all you've got. That's all I've got. And that's all I got. Mm -hmm. I should probably try and hit Michael's before they close. And maybe Ooh. I can get some yarn to finish this sucker. You are determined. 
Yeah, well. You're gonna win the race. I just want a little bit more weight and some variegated. Try and finish it up nicely. And if, and if I don't have any more variegated this thing, I will just use white. Nobody's gonna know. Oh no, they can see it, but I don't care. Doesn't matter. Right? That's right. So, anyway, well, I guess we'll let you go. And please press subscribe and like it. Maybe send us a comment. We do like the comments. Mm -hmm. We like to hear where you're from, what you're working on. I did take a picture of the cut banks, and um, I think I, I did one other picture. Oh, send it to me. I should have done it from the park yesterday. There was, I was there for the St. John Baptiste Day. Oh. And um, they did a big celebration in uh, Clay Lake Park. Yeah. Um, but I didn't take a single picture. Your job is literally taking pictures. I know. I forgot. It's okay. It's okay. And I did find confirmation that we are the spruce capital of the world. Well, we were when they made the sign. <laughs> we still have the sign. We're not taking it down. No. <laughs> it's just in the corner of a park. Is so. What park? Canal Hill. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we should take some footage from up there. It's beautiful. Yeah. And it's the university, go. but I never think to pull over as I pull, drive down the hill. You go up there a lot. I do. Well, uh, I never think to... It doesn't look good as you film from the car window. <laughs> It doesn't. I've <laughs> discovered that. So it's true. We'll see. Well, well. Anyway, talk to everybody soon. Happy crafting. Tell us what you're working on. I need the next project. What's fingering weight that I can use that K zip knits on? I don't know. Send us some ideas. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.